You know, I love being paired with the Bartok Concerto for Orchestra because um, Bartok is so in my blood. I grew up on this music, and when I hear a piece of mine next to a piece of Bartok's, I suddenly remember how much I learned from Bartok. Um, and so I think they're going to sound like they belong with each other, you know, when we play them together in a concert. I was once um, allowed to, to make a program for a premiere of another piece of mine, Second Concerto for Orchestra, and I chose Bartok and Stravinsky. So that's, that's my home territory. It's about a nine or ten minute piece, and it goes continuously, um, and it's not obviously in sections, you know, it's sort of one thing flows into another. But the way it works is that every new idea begins with one player or one section of the orchestra exclaiming something passionately or very expressively. And this expression is somehow so contagious that it spreads to the neighborhood. So, you know, one flute player infects the next flute player and they infect the oboe section and the clarinets get into it. It's a sort of viral kind of musical form. Yes. Rhapsody was the original idea, and in fact it wasn't my idea, it was suggested by Lauren Mazel. I thought it was a pretty dumb idea, but then it turned out I didn't have a better idea myself. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I tried to make um, this kind of ecstatic expression, and then to enact the second definition of Rhapsody, which is a, a form that seems improvised. So, although the music is not improvised at all, I tried to plan it in a way that, that it seems as if uh, everything that happens is unexpected. Good. I love coming to the Dallas Symphony. It's, first of all, a great orchestra, and getting greater and greater, I think. <laughs> it's, it's one of the great halls in the world, and there's a wonderful spirit of hospitality and open-mindedness and collegiality here, so they're a great orchestra to work with. Rhapsodies has a kind of strong Dallas connection because, first of all, I wrote it while taking time away from a big piece for the Dallas Symphony, August 4th, 1964. I think it saved my life. That piece was about to kill me. And so I took four or five weeks out and wrote this piece for the New York Philharmonic. And then for the first and probably last time in my life, I had premieres on the same night in two different cities. Uh, August 4th, the, the oratorio here, and uh, the U.S. premiere of Rhapsodies in New York. And of course, this was more important to me, so I came here. <laughs> but, well, this Dallas piece, August 4th, 1964, which is a major piece for me. I mean, it's the only piece of 70 minutes long I've ever written. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, very close to me emotionally, because the subject matter, you have to, I had to become very involved with it to do a convincing job. Uh, we'll now be going to New York City, and Rhapsodies has now come to Dallas, so we've completed the exchange, you know, that we began in 2007, 2008. Uh, and it means a lot for me to um, represent this project, which was very big in my life, um, to the rest of the country. Yes.